So far, we have been doing uh, many things about the uh, Dake Bible. Uh, you would think I was done with it now, wouldn't you? <laughs> but I'm not. Oh, so let's start from what we have. First of all, let's show you the order in which we got them in the first place. Now, this one, of course, was the first one I got. This is the Dake Annotated Reference Bible that you are quite familiar with, with the copious notes and all that, and it's absolutely huge, and it's, uh, as I said before, it's the best Bible that I have ever used. Now, then, what I got after that was, I believe, this one that was suggested by Mr. Bible of God's plan for man. That was the next one I got, which has, of course, many, it's, it's in a series of lessons. And this one has a series of lessons in order. And in there you see, of course, Scripture references, which is, of course, one of the main things about this entire Bible, these amazing Scripture references that are in here. And uh, that was, I believe, the second one that I got. And then the third one that I got was this one here. No, that's not the third. This is the third one I got which is the Zondervan Expanded Concordance, which I showed you before that Zondervan chose Dake to do this because of his ability to know the scripture without referring to the Bible, but also by taking other Bibles, six other Bibles actually, and showing how they translate certain words or phrases or verses differently so you get a much better understanding of what they mean. Plus, of course, the scripture references, again, are, are huge in this one. And then the fourth one I got, also suggested by uh, Mr. Bible, uh, who, with others, wrote this one. And this is his entire life story from the beginning. Everything that happened to him on the way. Of course, I've showed you that before, and I'm not finished with it. I'm at the, near the beginning, but I have skipped to go to certain things in here to show you. And another thing, of course, fascinating about this is it does have a bibliography, which is very helpful. And it also has an index. So that was the fourth one I got. And then the last one I got is the newest and that was suggested to me by the YouTube video of uh, him uh, where he talks about how he understands the book of Revelation. Now, of course, in the Dake Annotated Reference Bible itself, naturally, it has Revelation in there with tons of scripture references. That's typical of Dake. But this one here, which I just got, this is my last one, and you have not seen this let, yet. Take a look at this one here. Revelation expounded, eternally, eternal mysteries simplified by Finnis Dake. Well, once again, I have just begun this. I've just begun it. But it goes through all the chapters at the very beginning and what is in them, which, of course, is very helpful. And I will just show you where I am right now. I am on page 16. And this shows you some of the things that are in each chapter. Back, you will see there. Some of these having to do with colors in the Bible. 
and what they mean. Some of them having to do with um, animations and having to do with uh, so forth. Uh, keys to interpretation, division of the book of Genesis. Now, what this does all the way through, as you go through it, it is small print, but the information is huge. Um, and his way of doing this is to take you all the way through the book of Revelation and relate each part to the other and also other books of the Bible that it relates to, such as the book of Daniel and two parts also of the book of Matthew. And, of course, when you go through it, as with the others, you will get his comments, as you see here, and endless references to other scripture, which is typical of Dake. Now, and in also what he does in here, he will give you, in addition to what he does, uh, the following things about a certain subject, then he will do it by number, which he does in his other books right here. You see on this side, see those numbers there? Now that is one subject that he takes by number. Now when we go to the war in heaven, for example, the dragon, the war in heaven, and the remnant, which is chapter 19, you will see what he does. He actually quotes the Bible right there that's in the book of revelation and then underneath and of course when you turn the page on the next page are comments also now he does comment right here great deal a great deal of scripture references right here and then he goes to other books of the bible uh and he talks here about the dragon and he gives you things about it, and then the facts concerning war in heaven. He gives you quite a few of those facts by numbers and sub-numbers, and then the remnant of the woman. And then finally, the next chapter is the beast out of the sea, and so forth. Now, this one also goes all the way to the end of the book of Revelation, and the interesting part of it is the bride of Christ, which is a debated subject as we all know, and that Bride of Christ is quite interesting in here. Now, what one can do, and this is fascinating, if you take this, you get to a certain subject and a certain explanation, and you, uh, you look it up in this book of Revelation, you will find parallels with them, and sometimes uh, they, they fulfill one another. So if you look at both of those, that's what we're doing. Now, this is a summary of what I have on Dake. This is my last amount of Dake actual books, it print size that I am getting. So I did want to give you a sample of all that I have on Dake so far, which is one, two, three, four, five separate books uh, done by uh, Finnis Dake. I recommend Finnis Dake for all of you.